Hello, my name is Colin and today we're going to be recording the first video in a series on deploying an Abstra lab into EVE-NG. Now we're going to start by talking a little bit about what Abstra is. Juniper acquired Abstra, I want to say it was about a year and a half ago, to fill out a part of our data center portfolio uh, that we had a solution for, but that solution was very heavy. Abstra is an intense based networking data center fabric deployment design operation tool. Uh, what we had before was Contrail and a subset of Contrail called Contrail Fabric Manager. And both of these tools are very good at what they did. It's just what they did was so far and wide. Application orchestration in the case of Contrail and even Contrail Fabric Manager or CFM was still what I'd call heavy for most enterprises. The Abstra tool is great because A, it deploys fabrics different than any other tool I've ever used and a way that I really like. And B, it's a lot easier to use. It's, it's really straightforward. There's some terminology like any new system that you're going to have to learn, but once you understand all the little bits and pieces, man, it's, it's fast, it's easy to use, and it gives you a lot of information on your data center and the health of the network elements that are in it that are running the fabric. Now, I did mention intent-based networking. Uh, just a word on that real quick. Uh, we use the term IBN. Uh, it's the difference between a declarative tool and a procedural tool. If you've used Ansible or Chef or something like that, and we'll use Ansible because it's very common in this explanation, uh, you're using a procedural tool where you are defining command sets in playbooks and then you're feeding in variables to those playbooks and you're running them and that parses your inputs into the command sets and then pushes them out to devices. That is procedural. Declarative is where you give a tool, a group of resources, it already knows the commands that it needs to use to meet the intent of what you're trying to do, that's the intent in IBM, and it will churn your, the resources you give it and the intent that you define into a configuration. So when you're using Abstra, you're never, you, know, you don't need to know the CLI of these platforms that it supports. And you know, we've been using Juniper in the lab, but it also supports uh, Nexus Cisco, Arista, and Cumulus Linux. You don't need to know these operating systems to use Abstra to deploy your fabric. You just need to have the resources. And again, the configuration in Abstra, regardless of the vendor you're using, is identical. Uh, you feed it the resources it needs to deliver the fabric you're asking for. You tell it the elements of that fabric you want to see. This is your intent. That would be host connections, uh, connections that go to security blocks, connections that go to your core. And you hit a button, and it builds the fabric, and it pushes the config out to your devices. That's it. It, it is. It sounds simple. It is. Once you understand how all the elements stitch together, it's. I've never seen a data center deployed faster than it has been with this tool. Now, if you've watched my videos before, you know I like to talk about who the intended audience is, what the video series is, and what it isn't. In this case, the intended audience is going to be folks that either want to learn a little bit more about Abstra or want to build their own lab. I'm hoping there's more people that want to build their own lab because it's a really cool tool. We're going to be building this virtual lab in EVE, as I mentioned. I'm running EVE on a bare metal server. I don't think that matters, but I know that when you you know, read the EVNG directions, it says that BMS is always preferred, so that's what I'm doing. When Abstra builds a fabric, it refers to that complete fabric as a blueprint. In our case, we're going to have two of these blueprints, data center A and data center B, They're represented here in EVE by these devices. It's all VQFX for the managed devices in data center A on the left and data center B on the right. I've got testing hosts down here, which are VSRXs. And they aren't Linux hosts. I wanted to use those, but my goodness, I absolutely hate doing LACP on Linux. We're going to be doing multi-tenancy. Uh, so we've got multiple different VNIs and VLANs down here at the bottom and subnets. And we're going to be using over-the-top DC, DCI connections, if you're familiar with the different DCI types. And there's also a security service chain here. There'll be one of the later videos. But if you're not interested in the security service chaining, there's a part where this is all built without the firewalls, and you can just skip the next video after that. What this isn't is an EVNG deployment. We're not going to cover how to set up and install EVE. I'm not going to show you how to import images. Uh, upside here is that VQFX is a public beta, which means you can download it for free. Uh, at least I think you can. I download stuff differently. I know that there's no licensing for it, so you should be able to find it. You should be able to download it. No problem. 
VSRX, I mean, you might use your own Linux tooling. And to be fair, a VQFX could be used for 100% of the elements that are in this lab if you want it to be. It is not a multi-vendor lab. Uh, that's just, I don't have access to the other images, even if I did. I don't want to get into that. It, this is about showing what the abstract tool is, not how it interacts with different elements that are in the lab itself. And we're not going to do any load or throughput testing. Uh, you can see down here, since I'm using those VSRXs, uh, they're not traffic generators. Uh, and this is an eLab. You know, we're really just testing connectivity. So even load testing that was in a, lo a lab environment like this wouldn't be representative of what the real world does. I've got a note here for a word on ZTP. We're not going to be showing ZTP here. It does work very well on QFX. It doesn't work so great on VQFX. It just has to do with the way the, that it deploys and the Python and JSON scripts that AppStore uses for the ZTP process. You can hack it. We're not going to get into that. It's, it's not relevant. The onboarding process for these devices is so easy, even without ZTP, that it's not worth the effort. All right, we already went through the lab. Uh, one of the other things to note is that we're using an edge routed and bridging design, which means that our L3 lives on our leaves. This is what Abstra does. Abstra doesn't do CRB, it only does ERB, which means that every leaf device is an L3 VXLAN gateway, and the spine devices are just kind of passive. We're doing a three stage clow, not doing a super spine up here. This is all DCI up here at the top and kind of went through the testing and tooling elements. If you do happen to get LACP working in EVE on a Linux box, and I know it can be done, I just started spending time on it and it wasn't a good use of my time. These are the tools that I like always, iPerf and MC Join. If you're doing any kind of multicast testing, MC Join is just the best. You'll find it on GitHub, it is terrific. Everybody knows what I, iPerf is. And if we're doing H, uh, HA, these are obviously LACP connections down here and then ESI lag as they go up into the fabric. That's it for the first video. Thank you for watching. When we get started on this, this is gonna be a blank screen. It's gonna be really fun. We're gonna build it all out, and I'll walk you through all the steps to get the fabric built in Abstra, and we'll click the deploy button, and it'll blow your mind how fast it goes. Take care, thanks for your patience, and I look forward to the next video.